episode 699 of Apartment Hacker. This is my brand, Apartment Hacker. This is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. Uh, so I was reminded yesterday that, uh, yes, next episode is 700. And uh, my hope and desire is I have a very special guest uh, lined up for uh, 700. Um, in fact, I hope to shoot that this afternoon or maybe on Monday. So my 700th episode may not release until uh, Tuesday uh, at the very latest. Uh, but I'm hoping and pushing for Monday. Um, anyway, to today's topic, I uh, wanted to talk about artificial intelligence uh, and creating a ready workforce for that. I think I've been talking about upskilling and reskilling for some bit of time now, maybe the better part of six to nine months. And, uh, and I've always stressed that the idea uh, is now. You got to get it done now because uh, it is the now of work, not the future of work. Uh, it's uh, artificial intelligence, really the deep learning piece of artificial intelligence is invading our space and and you need to be prepared. Um, I think this prop tech tsunami that's making landfall in the multifamily space is, is here. It's making landfall. So five things that I think uh, you need to focus on. Uh, I read in an article and I thought they were so full of value that I would share them here. And I'll link up the, the article at the, uh, at the end. But um, when you're starting to think through how you might apply artificial intelligence in your business, especially in the multifamily space, you should think through problems that you could potentially solve with artificial intelligence and really think about things that are uh, rote and routine, things that you just do on a consistent basis that just uh, could be done by um, um, a piece of software in a much more efficient manner. So think through those particular areas of your business that you might be able to apply artificial intelligence and look for themes like rote routine, I hate doing this work kind of stuff. Um, and then build up a, a cross-functional team uh, who might be impacted by the implementation of artificial intelligence. In other words, as soon as you automate those functions, the downstream impact or the upstream impact from that uh, could be real. So make sure you think through from every single department in your organization how that artificial intelligence might impact and get those team members in a room and talk through that. Um, and then implement by using learning activities um, or learning opportunities rather. So I think as artificial intelligence gets introduced into your space, it, there's going to be a very messy middle. Messy middle, I borrowed that from a, a book title uh, by the same name, but there's a messy middle where a lot of the learning opportunities are going to become, are going to come real time, right? Because some of this technology is not fully vetted out yet. In other words, the vendors who are creating the technology are actually using your intelligence, your feedback to improve the product. So make sure that every single thing that you do is a learning opportunity and make sure your team knows that the middle will be messy, meaning the next 24 to 36 months is just going to be messy. It is what it is. <laughs> And then once that AI starts to get rolled out and it starts to make a real impact in your organization, start to think through what different jobs uh, or what different things you can do with your time. And it's better to start to think through that now as opposed to wait to that moment in time, but it's real. Um, and the time savings is real and, and uh, how it frees you up to do other things is real. So start to think through what you will be doing, not only as an individual, but what your organization can do with that time that, that is being harvested. So, and then you've got to really change your performance management um, and develop skills. So if you're working off of OKRs or KPIs or MBOs or whatever you're doing to track performance, um, We'll talk about OKRs. I'm, I'm actually starting to like OKRs better than KPIs. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. Um, you start to think through how you need to make amendments to those things because you may be tracking KPIs today that if taken over by a computer don't necessarily apply anymore, not germane to a person's activities and, and daily doing. So make sure you're thinking through how your performance management works with AI in the picture. So. Anyway, those are the five things. I know that was long. I'll link up to the article so you can have them uh, to read later. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. And tune in either uh, Monday or Tuesday for episode 700. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.